Thanks for checking out GuardiansOfTheGreenBray.com. Today we present Joe or Joseph Goldman. He was sent to us by some guys that knew him when he was in 20th group for about two hours before he got booted. He did aspire to be a Green Beret and says he completed enough of the Q course where he thought he could wear the Green Beret. He told a legit Green Beret at his wedding that he did complete the Q course and he had a memorandum from Fort Bragg allowing him to wear the Green Beret. All that's false. Every single bit of it's false. Uh, we talked to him on the phone. He said it was his wife's idea to wear the Green Beret. He said his heart was in it, so he thought he deserved everything except saying, hey, I screwed up. I lied. I shouldn't have worn it. But uh, he didn't even attempt selection. He got into some huge issues with taking money from a chaplain and then uh, getting hurt. And he was in a holding company, and I think he hit a sergeant. He got a Article 15 reduced in rank, booted from the course. And when he got back to 20th, I think he admits he was there for two hours before they uh, booted him from 20th group. So... Without further ado, here's Joe uh, in his own words. The video is about 33 minutes long, but it's well worth the listen because out of all the people we've talked to, I've never heard somebody try to convince his mind that he did so, uh, enough of the training where he could earn the Green Beret and his heart was in it. His heart wasn't in it. He didn't even start the course. Not one second. So... Uh, Here's Joe in his own words. Afterwards, you could go to our website and uh, check out all the other fakes, frauds, and phonies we've exposed over the years out here. Additionally, everything used in this video falls under multiple aspects of the fair use doctrine out here. Hey, is this Joe? We're going to um, Bluetooth to the car while I drive. You can hear me, okay? Is your wife going to hear this conversation? Yeah, I don't have anything for my wife. Okay. We were sent, I work for Guardians of the Green Bray, and we were sent some pictures yeah. of you uh -huh. wearing a Green Bray. Yep. You were never a Green Bray. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm, I want to hear you out completely before I say anything, so go go ahead and whatever everybody's got a problem with, that's all pissy at me, I, I, I'd love to hear it all, and then you and I can have a conversation about it, but it's, it's not anything being claimed said or otherwise, other than in my backyard with my wife, and then changing it to my ceremony, so go ahead. Well, I, I, actually, you're wearing a ball cap, you're wearing a ball cap with a special forces tab on it, meaning you're a, a green beret, you're wearing a green beret. Never once, while you were in the service, did you wear a green beret. You have, what is this, Iraqi campaign medal that you did not earn, combat action badge which you did not earn. You never even attempted selection, much less completed selection and the Q course. The only people that could wear a green beret are Special Forces soldier. And your footprint in the 20th group was virtually zero before they sent you. When you took that money from the chaplain, they booted you from the course before you even started selection. When you got back to 20th, before you even had a footprint in 20th group, they sent you to the 175th. I had a very long conversation with Colonel, uh, and he went on record stating you told him you completed the Special Forces Qualification Course. Okay. Well, how do you address that? Wearing the Special Forces Long Tab, wearing the Green Beret, telling him you have a memorandum allowing you to wear the Green Beret. No, I didn't say I had a memorandum allowing me to wear the Green Beret. I said that I went to training, got kicked out before completing the training. I got all the way through a number of parts of the course. I just did not complete the course. And I got a field grade article 15, 
would send me back to 20 group, and they thought I was trapped to the fuck out, and they let me walk out the door, and then left me hanging, at which point I went on the rest of my career with different things along the way. I got really sham shafted. I spent a year and a half there at SWIC, getting shafted left and right after, after a surgery, and then getting in trouble for something that was not even my freaking problem with doing anything outside of the thing of the chaplain. I got yelled at in the paper in Article 15 for this is from the DNC, this being off order. And it was nothing but burning bridges behind my tail the entire way. Colonel Battis said that when he gave me Article 15, that if I fucked up again, he'd burn my house down. Um, but that he wasn't going to chip me out and he gave me like shit when I got back and booted me off to the 3rd Brigade. It actually told me I was out of the Army. I got a phone call from the 5th Regiment Army telling me I was not out of the Army before the Third Brigade, and then got called up to go and support it like that. Yep. Now, the issue was that, now granted, I did not complete that course. You never started it. School, I we, did, or, you never started the course. You never even started selection. So when you say you never completed it, that would lead somebody to believe there was some portion of the course that you attempted. But you never attempted selection. No, it goes through selection. I, I ended up getting, going, going through different portions of the course separately. And I, I didn't know the difference when I was 23 years ago. I have no clue about anything of that stuff. No. I can't the counties of things. I was no. very young and dumb. Yeah, do you know we have access to the schoolhouse and what's called ATARS that shows everything 100% of your military record, and you did not complete portions of the Q course. So, the training that I went through for different things, I got the privilege to do. But I did not complete anything in a normal state of follow the direct path, go through the proper classes, graduate the whole class, and so forth. That's a, that's a grand thing. I get you that. But I've never since walked around wearing shit other than the day of my wedding, which on any ribbons that they say, you know, that I may not have been awarded necessarily, but should have been entitled to. I never took care of my own damn self because I had took care of all my other soldiers when I was in the MP Corps. I never awarded myself shit. I never gave myself anything. And I thought those things were things that were, that were entitled to me based on where I had gone, what I had done. When I went over as a civilian operator, um, for contracting and got attached to, to USASOC and the Engineer, Corps of Engineers, I was still in the Army. So I was under the impression and based on what I had read that it can be awarded afterwards. I just never went after things like so and when it came time to get married, my wife wanted me to wear my uniform. I even looked into the fact that the uniform is no longer war, allowed to be worn and so forth. I didn't put the long tab on there and I only wore the beret because after a long conversation, you know, yeah, I had gone to training, no, I did not graduate my class, so and so forth. We had a heart to heart about the situation. My heart has always been and always will be, regardless of how bad someone screwed me or pissed me off or how much I, I pissed them off or otherwise burned bridges. My heart's always been in support of the crowd and people. I cry every time something's gone wrong because of somebody else falling or otherwise. But he wasn't next to me. He doesn't know. Uh, actually, shit. actually, I didn't walk around wearing it. Yeah, actually was a little bit pissed when he found out you did not complete the Q course because you told him to his face that you completed the Q course. He's on record with that statement. And you never, you have to, I don't know if you've said this lie so long that you're starting to believe it, but you never attempted. We have access to if you're even slotted for a school and you don't show up. And we have all training going back to 1985. You never attempted any school in regards to completion of the Q course. Selection is first. You never attempted selection. What portions of the Q course do you believe you completed? Zero. You know, I went through this, they had started a different pre-training and all that, and there was a there was a route for these guys who, everybody who opened up an SFA program, when they went through, they had us in a different group. So it was not something I thought to do it about. Yeah, so what you're and saying. Ever since then, when I, left Bragg, when I left Bragg, I never wore a thing of it. But what you're saying is you were actually in a holding company 
getting ready for training and you were just doing ruck marches and picking up pine cones and finding busy duty because you never attended one portion of the different phases of the Q course, nor did you attempt selection, which is before the Q course. That's interesting considering I'm the one who plotted the damn thing for the land nav. Um, well, I get it and I understand. I never watched one day in my freaking career with anything claiming otherwise. Not once. Well, the, the mere and fact in my backyard, in my own backyard. Why would I you put a ceremony, why, ceremony and that was all? Why would you put on something you didn't earn? I have pictures of you in a ball cap with a long cap. That's claiming to be a green break. It's a pin on a ball cap, but they didn't have one. that's just with the only Air Force cap on it. That was all. My well, buddy's got it for me. Well, it, it's still claiming to be a green break. But you wore a maroon beret for the f 14 seconds you were in 20th grade. You wore a maroon beret, not a green beret. Why wouldn't you wear a maroon beret for your wedding? I was going to, actually. And then I had a hard heart with... And he said, listen, at the end of the day, it's within your heart. I was like, well, I really have had to think about the whole thing in the first place. But, you know, in my mind, and not based on anything else other than that, you know, I went through a lot back then, and it was a very... You didn't. You didn't go. Through, you stole. You stole money. You stole money from a chaplain. Is that going through a lot? Okay. You were. You were given a Article Fifteen and booted from the course before the course ever started. If that's what you mean when you mean you went through a lot, I'll agree with that. But if you mean you went through a lot yeah. training wise, so much so that you felt deserved of a green beret. You never even started the course. As far as Green, green Bay goes, okay, Roger that. I only ever once wore that at my wedding day. Well, I never before wore it. I well, went. I what I actually have always said was that I was with special forces. I did not get that tab. I was absolutely the hundred hours well, team and coming E three royal you, health trip for me. Yeah, you a lot of scrubbing floors, scrubbing floors in the barracks for forty five days of extra duty confinement and restriction of pay, and so forth. Yeah. I never once did anything. My wife posted pictures of our backyard wedding. That is all. I said it, nothing. Posted nothing. Didn't go out and ask for anything from anyone. I did zero. Yeah. And I took it off as soon as we were out of our ceremony, and I got the shorts and shirt. Well, that is all. Why would you tell that you graduated the Q course? He and I had about a half an hour discussion. When I went through the training down there in the whole company with Sergeant Levitt and Captain Aaron, I think it was Aaron, um, I don't remember, it's been a long time. I got a crap load of training, but it was not, it was not within the class of OEO 2 that I was supposed to have been with, with the Q course. And that was only due to surgeries I had got pushed off with that tumor in my hand. What was the crap load of training you went through? Everything from everything from small unit tactics and weapons to freaking water operations to we, we had a crap load. It was beautiful, it was that, amazing, and a life changing. But but that's, that's not true. We had, we had plenty of tactics. But we had room clearing. How come? But that that's we that's had to go and that, tag along the bottle course to the, at the armory there outside in the shacks. That's we got to do that. Got to do it. Got to work. Got to train. You went through right. none. None of that's showing up in your records. None of that shows up in any way, shape, or form while you were in the holding company going through your legal issues. You know something? And I'm not surprised. You just don't know what I went through and not anything outside of, hey, torment and torture as far as what I did and then what I had to bear because they wanted to fucking burn my name in grave. Well, when I literally just walked away and wanted a peaceful life. That's all I ever wanted to do. Well, you, you should never I have worn... Like, why would someone rip off 23 years of shit? You, I would never, ever fucking do. Well, you should never wear... You wear a lot of 20th group. You were a rep 63. When I got back, I was there not even two hours before. Right. That's what I'm saying. My heart. It doesn't matter what your heart brother. says. Brother, it doesn't matter what your heart says. You know, your heart does not... The, the, I don't even understand that answer. Just because you want to be a Green Beret does not allow you to wear the Green Beret in the long tab. You, you, and I always thought I was fine to play it through the entire time until they kicked you to the curb. 
Yeah. I never once felt otherwise. Well, and I never once said otherwise either. I never said I deployed with the 20th group. I never said I was on a 20th group team. You, I never said anything outside of I had nothing but the most highest respect and love for the 20th group in my entire life, even when they shit in my face. You sure but did? I didn't even mean to. All the 20th young kids. I was a young kid with no clue what the hell was happening. I was bouncing around everywhere and NCO told me to go. Well, that was you, it. you sure wear and a lot. All, you wear a lot of twentieth group uh, T-shirts and such. Oh yeah, I love it. I love twenties only. That's the only place I ever had friends. That was it. No, where are those friends? Like, I I stuck to that. Where are those friends? Some of them are dead. Yep. Uh, and why? Some of them are not my friends anymore. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, why do you wear the combat action badge that you never earned? That was never awarded, but I thought that I was entitled to it. So that, that's well, the regulation I wanted to apply to get both skills board for it. That's what you feel about the Green Bray and you, that you, you, you didn't earn. You can't wear stuff you didn't earn. It's, I mean, there's, there's no gray area here. Just because you feel you were slighted and just because you feel like you did some type of training even though there's no record of it, and you admit it was not official part of the pipeline, does not give you the right to award yourself a Green Beret and a Combat Action Badge. Roger. Well, it, it is what it is, and this will all be... Right. Now, as far as me doing anything about that, in my own backyard, the fact that anyone's got anything to say about it, because my wife wanted me to wear my wear all that shit, wear all my stuff, and so forth, I should be proud of all that stuff. It, it, it's personal and private. I didn't go anywhere with it. I didn't claim anything of it. I didn't do anything at all. But, and not why, that, I never thought for a single thing. Why it was supposed to about me, and that's it. But why, what made you go out and purchase a Green Beret? Why not put on the only beret you ever wore for a very short time, which would be a maroon beret? I still had that one. But that's it. No, I won't. I've had both of them since day one. Just like guys when we go through school had that tab on the inside of the fucking PC. I always had mine too. But, but you didn't earn it. You can't wear something you didn't earn. You know what I hate? And here's the just between... Just me being straight with you, because I had not said one thing that was not straight and honest forward to you, okay? You can go through anything you want. If you don't walk out that last day of the 59, you're fucked. But you never, correct? but you never even started the course. You never started selection. You were booted from group before selection. Okay, so you can't say you completed most of the course or many portions of the course, and you can't tell you completed the course except for SEER training. You completed 0% of the course. You didn't even get to the course because you weren't selected because you didn't even attempt selection. What part of any of that don't you understand? It's pretty straightforward. It. It's just heart. It's heart. It's heart wrenching. That's all. Well, we will add. Do you want to write an email for our article? We always give you that option. And you. What do you mean? We're going to do an article on you. That's what we do. Guardians of the dot com and expose you as a fraud. But I don't go around doing anything, so why would I be exposed to anything? Well, because you're wearing our Special Forces Long Tab, which you did not earn, and our Green Beret, which you did on not earn. Huh? On a pin? I, I don't care if it's tattooed on your forehead or on a pin. It's still the Long Tab, and anybody on Earth that sees it would assume you're a Green Beret, just like the individual you mentioned. Earlier in the conversation, why did you tell you graduated the Q course? Are you calling him a liar? No. 
Well, so that the sum of the parts leads one to believe that you tell people you completed the Q course. You told, now, do you think, why would you tell that Fort Bragg gave you a memorandum allowing you to wear the green beret? That came out of his mouth. I don't know why he did that. I don't think all that being part of our conversation. I can call him and ask him, but it's not a problem. I'm, I feel very close to that. I don't feel like I can't talk to a straight forward about it. I don't know why that was stated specifically, but I, I, I never said that memorandum. No, no case of giving anybody a memorandum or anything. Well, and that's that's well, but that's why we brought that up. We were confused. Been mixed up in our conversation. That's perfectly fine. But I'm still not to this day doing anything other than gotten married in my backyard, and, that, and that's it. Well, I, I don't know. Post anything. I'm not putting pictures anywhere. I don't see why anything has to be said for anything. I'm not going out doing anything. Well, well, well. I see well, why well, to ruin and destroy it because because someone you, else had a problem with five minutes in my backyard. I could have worn a pink bunny suit. We you probably anybody. should have. We but wouldn't. It, 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 we wouldn't be talking. You can't wear something you didn't earn. Right. You didn't. You didn't earn the combat infantry or combat action badge, and you did not earn the green beret. And the mere fact that you wear a pin, they have a lot of pins out there without the long tab, strictly the shoulder sleeve insignia. Okay, they have those. Those are very easy to acquire. The mere fact that you have that you. Wear the shoulder sleeve insignia along with the long tab and the green beret. And we have somebody on record stating, an honorable man, stating that you told him you graduated the Q course. You're claiming to be a green beret. But you have the opportunity to send us an email and say your side of the story. And we will add that unedited typos and all. Minus your email address. I don't understand to what to what to what end to what purpose. I don't know what. Well, that we we I never. Well, you, you have no right to wear the green beret. You have no right to wear the lapel pins with the long tab. It's it's that simple. You have you don't have that right. So you took it off. It, well, well, I think that's a little help in it. That's fine. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not objecting. I appreciate the fact that I offended somebody. But this thing is one inch in size. And I meant no disrespect by it whatsoever. I only ever had the pride and love towards it at all. It's like, I suppose, like someone who drives down the Why? street and someone's got a flag in their front yard of the Marine Corps. And it's like, you never served. Yeah, but I support them. Well, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing. I'm not going out there going, listen, help me. I'm a, I'm a green brain. I'm homeless. Like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, but you should have worn the Green Beret. Okay? You have no right to wear a Green Beret. You didn't even come close to attempting to become one. What you did is you went down the... The reason I wore it was because in my conversation with... He said, listen, at the end of the day, it's what's in your heart. I said, okay, you know what? Fine. I'm going to wear it. All right, just for the service, I'm done. I actually was fully intending on just wearing my maroon one with 20 flesh on it, and that was it. So because that's the only one I ever had. What What did you do? You reached out to him and say, "Hey, I'm conflicted. I graduated." Yeah, I did actually. That's exactly what I did. Well, but you told him you graduated the Q course. Okay. Now, if you graduated the Q course, I don't think he's lying about that statement. But if you graduated the Q course, why in the hell would you ever be conflicted on what beret? That you would wear. Because in my field grew up in Spain, I was not ever allowed to come back there. I was not ever allowed to stay there. And I felt like it was, if I wasn't going to finish the course at all, did not give me a long tab, you should be wearing a beret with it. Well, see your statement right That's, there. You didn't. I, I felt conflicted. But then why didn't you tell him you graduated it? I didn't say graduate. I said I went through the training and I wasn't allowed to graduate. Why he told us that you uh, you told him you completed the Q course except for SEER training. Is he lying? I told him, no, I went through, I told him I went through the Q course, I did not go to SEER training, and I had tested out on language, but I never went to the schoolhouse for it. And, but the truth is we had a long conversation for a few days, and it's a lot, and I don't mind clearing it up. Is that a problem? I certainly don't believe, to any extent, that what I didn't do should be 
packed on my head for the rest of my lifetime on the freaking internet of any sort of place because honestly, it just disturbs a lot of things that are not necessary and all I want is my peace. Well, you know I what? Can't when yeah, hey, what's not necessary is you wearing a green beret you didn't earn. So we're, we're going around in circles here. You still don't see an issue with wearing a green beret. Dude, you never started. Can you say this? Repeat this sentence. I never started the Q course. I never started selection. I never attempted selection. I never got selected. You have to get selected before you even start the Q course. Okay? Can you repeat that? Well, it's something you have to deal with. You never started selection. Can we agree with that? No, I never went to the selection course. Okay. To start the Q course, you have to be selected. So you were never selected, correct? So they're right. not they're not going to waste time on you, allowing you to take valuable slots where there's only so many slots available to guys that have actually made it through selection, been selected, and are actually in the pipeline becoming Green Berets. They're not going to let somebody that ripped off a chaplain who's been given an Article 15 and is in holding before you're booted a training slot for anything. Yep. I mean, Jesus Christ, do you want to send us an email with whatever lie and spin you're still going to try and tell yourself? You were nowhere close to being a Green Beret. You didn't complete 1% of the Q course. Not 1%. Because you didn't even start it. And the more we talked, the more fired up I got. Because the more... the more I apologize. I'm not trying to fire you up. Well, it... <laughs> What you're saying is so much bullshit that, oh, I completed various training aspects of the course. You didn't even start anything, brother. You didn't even start selection. What did you do all day? You picked up pine cones while they were trying to figure out what the hell to do with you because you stole money. I have one now. <laughs> that, 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 that was the how it went down. How did it go down? That issue with the, the chaplain was right before I left. And I had only got pulled from that pipeline to go to selection because I had to have surgery at Fort Porter. And I was on profile for a while because my bone had to grow from what they put a bone graph in. I got in trouble the last month I was there with the chaplain. And that was fucked up. And I was really screwed up. That was messed up. That was a long time ago. I'm not that shit anymore. And that is not why anything happened. The only reason I ever got a PR 15 on, in Fort Bragg was because I had got into altercation with Sergeant Sanders while attacked over the staff side paperwork over the barracks inspection at the number of people in the room. It was signed by a guy named Josh Gordon, not myself, but they thought Joe Goldman. And I got an alpha with him and physical with him. And then I got a physical, I got a hard kill drug for pain. I didn't get anything for, for stealing my the chaplain. That issue with the chaplain that he left me his debit card and then I overused what I had to talk to him about was between he and I. But while I understand it really looks bad 20 years ago, I get it. Yep. But that's about nothing to do okay. with you today. Uh, and, I, and, I and I certainly didn't need to upset you. Well, I, I appreciate your candor. Now, listen, this this is your come to Jesus moment. Or you probably don't do that as Jewish, do you? <laughs> what can we call it? Uh, this, this is your... Not really. But it's right. it's, you, yeah, I get it. You know what I'm getting at. Okay. Can you, repeat, yeah. can you please repeat after me? I did not attempt selection. What are you recorded for this on? Yeah. You have been the whole time. And you and I both know yeah. you did not complete selection, did you? I mean, you did not attempt selection. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that means you were not selected, correct? Correct. 
and you did not attempt the Q course because only those that attempt the Q course have both attempted selection, past selection, and were selected, correct? Correct. So you were never awarded a Green Beret, correct? Correct. All right. Maybe, moving forward, you remove the pins that have a long tab on it and burn that Green Beret you did not earn. And our email... And this is up to you. Think about it on the way home. Our email is contact at guardiansofthegreenbray.com. You can see the work we do on there. The longer your lie would have gone on, the more brazen you would have become. I mean, here you are. You're already wearing a combat action badge and the green beret. You know, and the long tab on your lapel pins. Each year, you would get more emboldened with your lie. I've seen it done for 15 years. So what you have to do is stop it now. But you 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 could write an email. You could write an email and say, "Hey guys, you got me. I fucked up. Uh, it's not going to happen again. I'm sorry. I wore a beret I did not earn." Dude, what are you? What are you and your wife gonna think looking at those wedding pictures five, ten, fifteen, twenty years from now? Jesus Christ, what a lie! Why didn't you wear your marine beret? You know what you should have worn is freaking just a suit. I mean, those wedding pictures are ruined because you're you're living a lie. So, all right, hey, uh, you, you could think about whether you want the email or not. We always throw that out there. You have every right to address the issues, but you do not have any right to wear the long tab, which I have pictures of it, and they'll be in the article, as will you wearing that green bray. but you have every right to include an email and show remorse. It sounds like you're remorseful, but often... Remorse is about getting caught. My as heart a is, my heart, no, this is nothing to do with that. It's always been my heart's been broke. That's all it's been. You, you, you know, if everybody whose heart... <laughs> everybody on Earth that was dropped from selection or the Q course would be a Green Beret. If it was their heart, if your heart was in it, you would have completed the training. You know? So, your heart wasn't in it. The guys whose heart is truly in it are guys who make it through to graduation. No, I got you. I got you. I got two things. One, Roger that. Okay, my heart was broken from the day they put me in the hospital. Whether I screwed up or not, never changed by where I, where I belong, where I tried to do. I even went as far as to go get contracts and go to SAD and all that stuff. The coach used to do that because my heart still wanted to do the job regardless of what in my path. Yeah. Because mistakes happen. Life goes on. It takes a lot to know that for whatever physical or otherwise hurdles stay in your way to get find another way to do it anyway. And never once did I have any attention for anything other than helping. Yeah, but you know well, you know there's many, many you know do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I didn't no. come out of the course. I, Not didn't, I didn't NPR. Like, I didn't, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't no. get the no. chance to. I, I can't wrap my head around it. Because there are many, many honorable men who bust their ass to complete the Q course and for some reason don't make it. They, and they don't make it. But you know what they don't do? They don't wear the green beret because their heart was in it. They wear their maroon beret. And say, damn, I tried. I wanted to be a Green Beret, but I couldn't do it. You should wear your Marine Beret and say, hey, I didn't do it. I didn't even make it to selection. You know, it is what it is. I had issues. I got hurt. I couldn't even attempt 
selection, much less try and pass selection. Just because you wanted to be a Green Beret does not mean you can claim to be a Green Beret. You can't put that Green Beret on your head. I got that. Think about whether you want to contact at guardiansofthegreenberet.com. There's probably an area on our website where you can reach out to us, and it's in big red letters, contact at guardiansofthegreenberet.com. But don't send something that is going to freaking turn somebody's no, stuff. Own this. Own this. Okay? Own it. And just say, hey, I never started selection. That's on me. So I could not have been selected. That's on me. I never attempted the Q course. That's on me. I should have worn the Maroon Beret. That's on me, and I really screwed up. I should not have told that I completed the Q course. That really pissed him off. Because you can't unsay something that's been said. He's not making that up. Okay? You can't say you completed portions of the training. You never started the training. So, we'll... Uh, Send you a link to the article once we're done, and we'll add that email if you send one. All right. All right, out here.